Proverbs 1-7 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. The judge is watching. Buster Beaver's stomach twitched nervously as he made his way to the starting line. Today was the big race in Wisdom Woods. He had been looking forward to this all year long. He wiggled his flat tail and stretched his furry legs. Taking a deep breath, Buster looked up at the judge, Mr. Grant. The great bald eagle perched majestically on the branch of an old oak tree. As honorary judge for today's competition, his watchful eye scanned the lineup of furry little animals. Hiya, Buster! Sammy Squirrel patted Buster's back. Are you ready? Buster frowned. I have been practicing my dive and scooch so much, I think I've worn a bald spot on my tummy. I'm sure you'll do great. I just hope I can swim the river today. I think I ate too many acorns for breakfast. I just might sink. Sammy chuckled as he rubbed his tummy. All racers to the starting line, called Mr. Grand. Well... Here we go, Buster sucked in another deep breath, hoping to settle the swirling knot in his tummy. Mr. Grand landed gracefully in front of the eager critters. Only one of you will win the prize for being the fastest today, he began. But all who run diligently and honestly receive a prize of their own. The prize for all creatures who are diligent and honest is the badge of integrity. Are you ready to do your best? On your mark. Get set. Go! The group of furry creatures erupted into a chaotic blur of motion, diving under logs, running around bushes, leaping small streams. Buster hoped he could get his paws to race as fast as his racing heart. He flew around a large bush and headed to the river just ahead. This was the part where they would get wet. The river was not very wide in this spot, but they had to swim across without help. As Buster got closer, he saw Reggie Raccoon grab a branch from the great weeping willow tree that spread itself over the river. Reggie took a quick run and swung himself across the river in one mighty bound. He looked back with a grin, then whirled around and raced down the path to the next obstacle. Hmm, Buster mused as he considered following Reggie's example. His friends in the water were sputtering and splashing to get across. Once on the other side, they had to shake the excess water from their fur coats before they could regain their speed. Although Buster was a good swimmer, it would be much faster to simply swing across like Reggie did. It would give him a better chance of winning, too. However, his conscience reminded him, the rules did say to swim the river. Buster slid to a halt at the edge of the river. He hesitated. Then as he reached up to grab a swinging branch, he remembered the sharp eyes of the judge, Mr. Grand. The judge was watching. He would see and know that Buster had cheated. Buster respected Mr. Grand. Fear of disappointing the judge prompted Buster to think again about his decision. It might be faster to swing than to swim, but it would also be wrong. Buster squared his shoulders and determined to do right. Drawing a quick breath, he dove into the cool water and swam with all his might. That night... As he snuggled down to sleep, Buster sighed with satisfaction. He didn't win any prizes in the race, but he did finish. He did his best, and he raced honestly. Yes, integrity did feel like a prize. And so we see a simple picture of a wisdom principle in action. A respectful fear of the Lord, our heavenly judge, is the beginning of true knowledge and right behavior. Proverbs 1.7 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Hi, boys and girls. As you learn and grow, remember, 
that true knowledge begins with the fear of the Lord. Proverbs 1, 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Fearing the Lord doesn't mean you're afraid to be close to the Lord. It really means a respectful fear, like the respectful fear that you have with your parents. Hopefully, when you do wrong, you respectfully fear your parents' disappointment and discipline. Be sure to train your mind not to dislike wisdom and instruction because fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Be sure to join us for more adventures here in Wisdom Woods.